What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video of T Liska 10 Adventures. Right here in the S2K. Um had some issues with fueling um on my previous tune. So after 7k uh it looks like it's fuel pumps giving out and we're having to basically throw more injector duty cycle into it. Um so what I did was upgraded to Dishworks, probably saying it wrong. 200 255 lph pump um pretty cool plug and play the s2000 factory connector plugged right in uh this is e85 and regular octane compatible so pretty cool here's the part number for it uh i think that's the fuel kit actually too but anyways that's the pump i got i previously had a wall brawl 255 um but it's weird because it was Rawboro, but it says TI Automotive made in the USA. But uh, my tuner thinks that it's basically a faulty pump or basically a knockoff Rawboro, which kind of sucks. So be careful when you buy these. I got this direct from Dishworks, so should be good to go. And then I also have Road Racer's baffle plate for the fuel pump. <laughs> Pretty detailed instructions it comes along with it um, so yeah we're gonna install this pretty self-explanatory for the install and uh, luckily I don't have a soft top so I just remove my factory hard top and have a ton of room to do this so yeah basically I used tools needed to remove the fuel pump 7 16 to remove the screws around the plate um, a 10 mil to get some random sockets um, and flathead some needle nose just to clamp the fuel lines so yeah pretty self-explanatory pretty easy so let's go ahead and get this bad boy in okay everyone so I have the baffle plate installed um, kind of hard to see uh, let me see if I can get my flashlight to see so you can see the F for forward position um, this basically is on the outer fuel tank position there's a second one on the bottom there you basically bend it like a taco and that's the baffle plate installed the um pretty easy to install too the hardest part is getting your fuel pump out obviously but let's get hey guys uh, i'm gonna go ahead and put the fuel pump in pretty self-explanatory here's your fuel pump make sure you're careful with the leveler um because yeah you don't want to bend it be all bad just watch your fuel lines bend them out kind of got to go to angle And you want to make sure you get it inside the baffle because it could possibly not go in. Just drop it down slowly. You're going to have a bunch of lines in the way which you're just going to have to mess with and uh, move around. Mostly just your fuel line. And bam, there it is. So then you're gonna reconnect your fuel lines, put your eight millimeter bolts uh, back on, uh, reconnect your fuel lines, plug everything, make sure you have no leaks. All right, let's get it all buttoned down. 